TJ here, your favorite Gen Xer. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for the cruise section of my channel, and this is top five ways to have fun on your solo cruise. Now, these things don't have to be done by a solo cruiser. You can do them if you're cruising with a whole group, but this is just activities that I have found to enjoy on a solo cruise. Number one is a travel journal. This is a lot of fun to do. Um, you do them in advance. I make a hard copy. It has um, one page for every day. Usually have pictures of the ports that I'm going to. Um, and I write in there what I ate that day, maybe who I met, the activities, the food I ate, funny things that happened, events that I took part in, maybe a trivia contest or orange party, white party, um, something like that. Um, so I have a couple of them here. They are so much fun to read once you get home. I've got a couple of them. This is from my most recent cruise here. And it's so much fun just to, when you get back home, you can just read through them. And um, it's a great way to bring back the memories months later and just really enjoy your cruise. And I also happen to remember people's names um, from writing them in my journal. My cabin steward's names always go in there. It's, it's a lot of fun to do that. Um, number two, send yourself a postcard. And you can also send these to friends and family, and I have done that, of course, but I'd like to send myself a postcard. It's so much fun to get back home and get them like two weeks later or a week later, you get a postcard saying, hey, wish you were still here. It's lovely, I'm having a wonderful time from some beautiful Caribbean island. So um, most recently, I sent myself a postcard from Jamaica and it never came and I waited and waited and waited. I finally gave up. I finally gave up. I thought it's not coming. I lost in the mail, you know, whatever. Um, and it showed up last week. Okay. So here it is. And it showed up last week and it was only about almost three months late getting here from Jamaica to Florida. So, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Um, this one just says five stars too bad. It's the first port. Ha ha ha. So, um, come back soon. And I really would love to go back to Jamaica. It's such a, a fun time there. Um, number three, magnet wall. Your cabin walls are magnetic on your cruise ship. And some people take hooks, little magnetic hooks to maybe hang bags on, things like that. Um, some of the cruise ships have the hooks already on the wall for you. Uh, I like to use them for my magnet walls, my souvenirs from the various ports. Um, these are, you know, magnets, of course, and they stick right on the wall. And I have a, a nice little collection there by the end of the cruise. And it's a good way to keep them stored. And then once you get home, don't forget them when you get off the ship because you don't want to leave them behind. Once you get home, you can put them on the refrigerator. Um, I have moved mine to a door frame around my patio door that is magnetic. So um, my refrigerator was getting a little busy. So uh, that's that on the magnets. Number three, thank you cards. Thank you cards. Now I forgot these on my last cruise and I had to just use scraps of paper from my reservation folder and things that I take with me. Um, thank you cards are so much fun. I like to give one to the cabin steward the day of first day of the cruise. Um, hi, you know, my name is blah, blah. I'm looking forward to having a great cruise and uh, having a great week or whatever. Um, and then I put a, a small gratuity in there. And I typically do uh, tip my cabin steward every day. Uh, I like to leave a little note for them. Um, the most recent one I went on, it was an 11 nights. It was pretty long, but I um, ended up getting into like a pen pal kind of thing with my cabin steward, Jade. She was so sweet. And um, she would write me back and the last day I want to read you her little note to me. I kept them because it was so, so touching. Uh, Madam Pam, PJ, thank you so much for the letters every day. Thank you for always asking how is my day and it really means a lot to me and thank you for always appreciating my service in your cabin. I hope we will see each other again soon. Sorry. I don't have a gift for you, but please keep this pen and bag. Have a safe travel back home, your cabin steward, Jade. That was so lovely, and I kept it, obviously, because that is a um, memento from the cruise, and it was very sweet. 
that is a lot of fun to do. Um, you can also give them to uh, restaurant staff if anyone goes out of their way to help you with your food choices and anything like that. Um, and I have done that on cruises in the past. This most recent one I went on, uh, both restaurant managers got a, uh, a thank you card and a small gratuity because they were very helpful in um, getting me the right food that I wanted to eat on the cruise. Okay, um, number four is, what was number four? Oh, did I already do number four? One was travel journal. Two is postcard. Three is the magnet wall. Four is the thank you cards. And I don't know, I must have messed up on the numbers. Five is duck hunting. Duck hunting. Okay, this is something that not everybody do does. And um, I didn't really know what much about it uh, until about a year ago. And um, when I was on my cruise in December, I found my first duck and I was sitting by the pool and I happened to look over and I saw this little duck, the cutest little thing, sitting right there. And I looked at the tag and it's from uh, some people who live in the same town where I live in Florida. So I found this when we were probably I don't know, in Puerto Rico or something. And, um, but to find the little duck that was uh, from, made by the people in my hometown where I'm from was really cool. So I picked it up. These, um, usually they have a little tag on there with who made them. And they usually have a Facebook page where they want you to post um, a picture or that you found the duck so they know that they get found. Um, Carnival, I think, is cracking down on these. They don't really want them all over the ship. And they have said, I believe they don't want them in the common areas, but that's usually where you find the ducks uh, by the pool and things like that. So um, that may be something you enjoy. I am not big into duck hunting, but it is fun. And if you have kids or, you know, if you're younger and you're kind of into that, that's totally cool. You can keep the ducks. You can rehide them on the ship, take them home with you. Um, there's lots of different things you can do with them. You can put them on Jeeps when you get back home. That's a thing too now. So Okay, so that's five things, five fun things that you can do on your solo cruise. You don't have to be solo to enjoy these things, but you certainly can enjoy them on your solo cruise. And I'll just run through them one more time. Number one is the travel journal. Number two is the postcard. Number three, magnet wall. Number four, the thank you cards. And number five is the duck hunting. Okay, so that's five things that you can do on your solo cruise and have fun in addition to all the other fun that you're going to be having on the ship. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and go book that cruise.